I've put every major AI video generator through serious testing to see how well they handle the four most important tasks. Surprisingly, VO3 isn't the best at everything. Let's start with task 1.1 and see how the image to video models follow my prompts. To make it fair, I'll use the same images and prompts on the five AI video models. For each image, I tested three runs and picked the best results so you can see which model works best without burning through credits. Let's begin with Runway ML using this prompt. Camera zooms in on the woman as she tucks her hair behind her ears. And although the hand moves in the right direction, it's not doing exactly what I asked for. VO3 followed the prompt very well, but her hand looks a bit too big and her face loses some consistency. I'm very impressed with how Kling handled the prompt. The camera zoom looks great and the character stays very consistent. With Hai Luo, the camera zooms in nicely, but she doesn't tuck her hair behind her ears as well as in the Kling model. The woman looks consistent, but the hand seems a bit odd at the end. One 2.2 also followed the prompt very well, and I really love the zoom into her face. It creates an outstanding shot. Overall, Kling came out on top, Runway ML performed the least, while the other three gave solid results. Let's move on to task 1.2, camera movement. For this, I used this image and asked for an arc shot around the woman. Runway ML listened to the prompt, but the movement is very subtle. I do like the waving hair on the woman, which makes the shot look very believable. With this VO3 shot, I'm a bit disappointed. The camera does make a small arc movement, but I was hoping for more. With Kling, the arc shot around the woman turned out exactly as I wanted. Hailuo also reacted very well to the prompt, and I'm really happy with the amount of motion in this shot, while still keeping the character consistent. One 2.2 also listened to the prompt, but in my opinion, it could use more motion. It feels a bit too subtle. Overall, with this shot, Hailuo is the winner, followed by Kling, VO3 performed the least, and the other two were pretty similar, with good but subtle camera movement. Let's do one more camera prompt. For this, I used this image and the prompt, camera zooms away while panning to the right in a circular motion. With runway, the zooming out looks great, but there's no circular motion to the right. With VO3, I tried both a JSON and a normal prompt. The camera does zoom away, but again, no circular motion to the right. With Kling, we can see the camera zooming away while also panning to the right in a circular motion, something the previous models couldn't do. Hailuo also did a great job with this prompt, showing both the zooming out and the circular motion to the right. The 1 2.2 shot turned out the most eccentric. It doesn't follow the prompt exactly, but it does make the circular motion, so it listened to that. I think it got a bit confused with zooming away. Overall with this shot, Kling and Hailuo are the winners. Runway and VO3 showed they respond less well to camera prompts than the other two. And 1 2.2 created an amazing shot, but I can't really rank it in this test. Let's move on to task 1.3, handling action shots. For this, I used this image with the prompt, fast zoom up to the girl's face, then she turns around and starts running toward the background. I'm pretty disappointed with Runway. Even after four attempts, it never zoomed fully into her face. And the running looks strange with multi-steps that aren't realistic at all. With VO3, I used the same prompt plus a JSON prompt. I'm very impressed with how well VO3 followed the zoom instruction. The surprise expression and the running both look very realistic in both shots. With Kling, the camera zoomed in exactly as I wanted. She also looks surprised and scared as I asked for, and then starts running away. I'm a bit disappointed with the running since it looks unrealistic. After I removed the keywords high action and high speed, the running improved a little, but it still wasn't fully realistic. With Hailuo, the zoom into the face looks great, and when she starts running away, it looks very realistic. With 1 2.2, I also really like the zoom, but it's a bit slower than with the other models. The running looks very realistic too, but she moves much slower than with the other models. Overall with this shot, VO3 is the winner, Hailuo is second, 1 2.2 is third, Kling is fourth and Runway is in fifth place. Let's do one more action shot. For this, I used this image. With the prompt, the woman runs towards the camera at high speed with intense focus in her face while the camera pulls backward. With this Runway shot, I am very disappointed. The running looks unrealistic with strange multi-steps in between and the sand swirling under her feet looks very unnatural. With VO3, I'm very impressed with the action shot. It looks very realistic and the sand flying from her feet feels natural. She does suddenly get a sword, which I didn't prompt her for. With Kling, the action shot looks really nice. There's just one small multi-step in her movement that feels unrealistic. But the swirling sand from her feet looks great. Hailuo also responded well to the towards the camera prompt. You can clearly see her running at the camera, which is the only model that managed this. 
at the end of the scene, there's a lot of motion and fast camera movements. And then the character's movement still look realistic, and I'm very impressed with this. With the 1 2.2 shot, the physical movement also looks very realistic. One thing I noticed with 1 2.2 is that sometimes you get slow motion shots and other times faster shots, like in this one. In my opinion, that's amazing, and I also really like how the sand swirls up in both videos. Now to close off the image to video task, for me Hailuo is the winner. VO3, Kling and 1 2.2 share the second place and Run Rage and 4 comes last, but it comes back strong in the video to video task. But first let's move on to task 2, giving a voice to a character. It's a bit more complex to give a clear overview of how each model handles adding a voice to your character. For example, right now the only online AI tool that can add voice to your videos is VO3. That's where Design AI comes in, because here you can use the Lip Sync tool to add a voice to your images or videos. First upload an image or a video and choose a face to add a voice. You can add voices to one or even both characters. Now you can either type text and pick a voice from the platform or upload your own audio file. Then you place the audio exactly where you want to set up the conversation and by clicking here you can add a new voice element. And then this is the result you get. Welcome everyone, today we're talking about real AI character dialogue. That's right, it's now in Design's lip sync. Don't wait, go try it now. And the cool thing is that this is much cheaper than using VO3. Let's quickly check the audio from VO3, Kling and Hailuo, starting with VO3. In this case I used this image with the following prompt. This is where it ends. <sighs> then let's finish it. If you repeat this process with Kling or Hailuo, you get results like these. Runway doesn't have the option to add voice with its text to video or image to video models, but you can do it using the video to video model. When you use 1 2.2 online, there's also no option to add a voice to your videos. But if you run 1 2.2 locally on your computer, then you can add it. But that is outside the scope of this video. Now let's move on to task 3 video to video, and this is where Runway ML truly shines. Which is why it's on my list of the 5 best AI video generators. It's the only model that can do this and it's a must have in my toolkit. With Runway Act 2 you can take a real video clip and transform it into any style you want while keeping natural movements, expressions and voice for incredible control and realism. Or am I? And now with the new Nano Banana model it's easier than ever to restyle yourself into any character. On Design AI you can also use it in their chat editor along with other models like CDM4 and Flux Context. Now let's move on to task 4, start to end frame tools. And for me, as a creator, this is a key feature, because it gives me control to solve complex shots. Here we'll compare Kling, Hailuo and 1 2.2. Runway ML only had this option in the older Gen 3 model, and as far as I know, VO3 does not have a start to end frame feature yet. Let's start with task 4.1, a zoom shot from an outdoor to an indoor scene. For this we use the prompt, the camera zooms in from outside the ship to the woman sitting inside the ship. Starting with Kling, we used a 10 second video, and while it's a slow zoom, Kling nailed it. The shot looks very smooth with just a slight blur during the indoor transition, but overall I'm very satisfied with it. The Hailuo 10 second shot came out very smooth, but it doesn't zoom through the same window as in the Kling video, and there's some strange morphing when it goes from outdoor to indoor. So therefore I added the camera zooms into the cabin from the ship to the prompt. But that didn't give me the result I wanted, so I tried a 5 second shot and Hilo did give me the result I was looking for, but the zoom is a bit too fast and I'm not 100% happy with this shot. For the 1 2.2 video I used the same prompt as with Hailuo. Quick note, I ran this on my own computer using ConfUI, and right now this model can only make videos up to 5 seconds. The zoom feels a bit too fast and when it transitions indoors, there's some strange morphing going on. Overall, Kling is the winner for me, but honestly, there's not much difference between the models, and I'm satisfied with all of them. Let's move on to task 4.2, face transformation. And here I used the prompt, the woman's skin starts to transform into glowing scales, her hair turns into tentacles, and she makes a hissing expression. With Kling, I used a 10 second video to get maximum transformation results. And I'm quite happy with the result, and I like the glowing bits, but then all of a sudden the transformation goes very quick and it doesn't feel 100% realistic to me. And then I used the same prompt for Hailuo, but I didn't get a good result, so I changed the word transform into turn and then I got a better result. And I'm really excited about this shot. The transformation starts very slow and then the glowing in her eyes begins. And then the transformation, what starts after that, that is exactly what I was looking for. This feels like a proper transformation shot. 
And although I could only create a 5 second shot for the 1 2.2 video, I am very satisfied with this, because the transformation looks realistic and I also like how she shows her sharp like teeth. Overall, the winner for this shot is Hailuo and Kling and 1 2.2 share the second place. Let's move on to task 4.3, a zoom out to the earth shot. And for this I use the prompt, the camera zooms out starting from the aerial view of the ship to the earth in outer space. For Kling we used a 10 second video again. The zoom looks very smooth, but for some reason it creates a double world, which makes the effect less believable. For Hailuo we also used a 10 second video. It looks smooth and started off in the right direction, but then it also creates a double world, making the shot not 100% believable. That said, the first 6 to 7 seconds are very usable in both the Kling and Hailuo video. With the 1 2.2 video I could only use 5 seconds, so this didn't have a fair chance. And yes, I'm not very satisfied about the result. So there's not a clear winner in this test, but I think I do like the Hailuo shot the most. Let's move on to task 4.4, the 90 degree turn, and this is a pretty difficult shot, because we want that the camera moves over here in front of the woman without her turning around to the left. So we use the prompt, the camera pushes in towards the woman and then rotates in front of the woman to show her reading the book. This time I started with 1 2.2 using a 5 second video. Although the camera makes a little up and down move, it nailed the camera move perfectly. I do have to mention that in all the tests I create 3 videos with each image. Two of them didn't turn out as I hoped, but I'm very happy with the one that did work. With Kling on a 5 second video, the video did turn out very nice, but we didn't got the camera move which we prompted for. When I used the same prompt on Hailuo, I didn't got a great result, so I changed the prompt to arc shot around the woman to show how she is reading a book intensely. And that gave me this shot. And it all turned out very well, and I was very happy with the shot. But then all of a sudden we got this strange morphing. But still, it's not a very bad shot. I started thinking that maybe Hailuo and Kling weren't the problem. Maybe it was just that her eyes weren't visible in my end frame. So I made a new end frame where her eyes are visible and tried all the prompts below several times. Still, none of the results came close to 1 2.2, making 1 2.2 the clear winner for this test. And now let's move on to the last task, task 4.5, complex location transformation. And here it's very important that you prompt right, because here we have a bad prompt, zoom into the woman's face, and I'll show you later what happens if you do bad prompting. And the good prompt is the camera zooms into the forest where the woman is standing in front of her leg. So it's very important that you describe to the model what you exactly want. Because this is what you get with bad prompting and only ask to zoom into the woman's face. And I don't think legs belong inside buildings. With the correct prompt though, you get this kind of shot, which really impressed me. It was exactly what I was hoping for and both shots were made with Kling. And then I used the same prompt with a 10 second video in Hailuo and it gave me this amazing shot. I think it looks even better than the Kling video, which was already very good. 1 2.2 didn't get a really fair chance here, since it can't go beyond the 5 second limit. I tried many times and this was the best result I got, which is pretty disappointing. And I did try several prompts, but none of them really worked. It's unfortunate that 1 2.2 can't make 10 second videos yet, which hides some of the potential of this great model. To show what it's capable of, I'll share a video from Tokyo Jab an amazing AI creator who has always supported me over the past 3 years, that proves how powerful the start to end frame in 1 2.2 can be. So is there an overall winner when it comes to start to end frame tools or AI video models in general? I don't really think so, because each model has its strengths and weaknesses. And that's why I made this video, to show you which model is best for what. That's also what I like about design AI, because here I can use all the models under one subscription. Now, if you want to know more about start to end frames in Kling, make sure to watch this video. And if you want to learn how to create all the camera angles in 1 2.2, make sure to watch this video.